if this Kuwaiti lady is taking care of this Filipino nannies that in fact when you see the Filipino nannies you won't even know that they are nannies because normally here in Kuwait they wear this um Kadama uniform you know they have uniforms but her nannies don't wear it hi guys <laughs> okay guys today is another wonderful day and i want to tell you that i love you yes i do love you i know you might be wondering like why would she say she love me yeah because you know a lot of people hate people for no reason so can i just love you for no reason <laughs> come on baby come come <laughs> Okay guys, so um, regarding the topic or the title you saw on my thumbnail, oh my gosh, this boy. <laughs> I know um, a lot of the media, or I know you might have been hearing a lot of negative news about Kuwait, Kuwaitis, right? That same media will not tell you the good things that the Kuwaitis are doing. So that is why today in my <laughs> video, I'm gonna share with you all Oh my gosh that is why today in this video I'm going to share with you all that no matter what um, you have been seeing or watching on the news I want to tell you that there are still good Kuwaitis out there okay I remember um, before bless you baby I remember when I was still in the Philippines before coming down to Kuwait I tell people that my husband works in Kuwait they be like, why Kuwait? That country is not good, especially for black people. Oh, they maltreat people, they maltreat um, maids. There's so many negative things they keep saying. Guys, don't allow people to spoil your intentions about what you want to do. Go there, see for yourself, and then know if you would want to continue staying or not. Of course, every country have their pros and cons, and so Kuwait is not exempted. And um, guys, I want to tell you that I love the fact that I'm living in Kuwait. Um, my husband has wonderful Kuwaiti friends, and oh my gosh, guys, they've turned out to be my friends. And guys, today we are wonderful friends, we are like families. And when I see this bond, when I see this relationship, I'm like, is this not the Kuwaitis I've been hearing about? Is this not what I've been... You know what I mean? So, um, I was with my friend, because I hanged out with my friends the other day, guys. So, um, <laughs> she was sharing with us how her Kuwaiti friend has three Filipino nannies. Oh my gosh. Because here in Kuwait, they have nannies that does different things for them. They have nannies for cooking, they have nannies for the kids, they have nannies for the house, they have nannies for this, nannies for that. Let's forget about driver because they have drivers that drive just their car or a particular person's car, right? So, um, in each house here in Kuwait, there are families with uh, maybe three, five children and each children have their own maid or their own nanny okay <laughs> so the reason why i'm making this video is to tell you that there are still good kuwaitis my friend was telling me that this kuwaiti family this kuwaiti lady is taking care of this filipino nannies that in fact when you see the filipino nannies you won't even know that they are nannies because normally here in Kuwait, they wear this um, Kadama uniform. You know, they have uniforms. But her nannies don't wear it. They dress so casually. They dress nicely. If you see them, you won't even know they have nanny. Um, they are nanny. And her children has each nanny for themselves. This child, this nanny. This child, this nanny. So, there was a day <laughs> um, the nannies left. The kids fell sick. So, <laughs> this is because the kids are already used to the nannies. I feel happy. I feel very, very happy when I see employers treating their workers, their mates especially, treating their mates 
very well just like their kids <laughs> I was telling you guys in my previous video that I used to be a maid in my own uncle's house but you guys did not say anything about it you, but instead you guys were just judging my youtube video by my title by the thumbnail i used to be a maid in my uncle's house <laughs> guys to be honest i was maltreated but anyway the maltreatment made me become um a strong and a better person today like I was showing you guys my hand, I have a very big scar here. See, guys? You see the scar? This is as a result of hot water that poured on me. It's even poured on my back. But they, they never took me to the hospital, guys. Whenever I see this scar, I remember everything that has happened. And guys, the day this hot water poured on me, I said, damn hell is real guys because i don't want I, I don't know how to explain the pain i felt that day so i'm like oh shit nobody should go to hell <laughs> oh my gosh so um when i see when i see maids out there being treated nicely it warms my heart it makes me happy and i really want to appreciate all those employers who are treating their mates nicely i just want to say a little prayer for you i said may god continue to bless you and your household because what you're doing is rare we have to treat the people that works for us with respect with love we have to be humble because our kids are watching our children are watching they are seeing how you are treating them because tomorrow they might want to treat another person that way is this what you want for your kids is this what you are teaching your kids? Remember, they are the leaders of tomorrow. Okay? So, guys, um, I know a lot of you must have um, come across nice Kuwaitis out there. Tell me, what is your experience? I know. It's good. And for those of you that still want to leave a negative comment about these people please remember you have to be nice no one is perfect okay you have to be nice because if you leave a very bad comment here youtube is gonna delete it you have to be nice and guys um um i don't know if you're watching this um what is the name of this guy um khalid and salama this arab couples guys I just love the way they behave. You saw the way they treated their Ugandan maid? Oh my gosh. They even promised to be at her wedding. Diba? Guys, I love the fact that they are different. Now, the war, I know there are still some people that are hurt from the way they are treating her, but that is how it's supposed to be. If we treat people this way, I think the world will be a better place because I think whether made or not made, all of us are the same, Diba. So to me, I love what they're doing. And to those people who are treating their mates nicely, you're doing a great job. Only God is going to reward you. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, this is just what I want to share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.